Well, I think my, my, I met my wife, she was from out of state, and she came from Minnesota, Minnesota, they always joke. And she's still here. She was going to be here one year. She taught in elementary school. So we met on a date uh, uh, after a football game here. So fond memories, obviously, since we've been married 48 years, 49 years coming up. And also the fact that uh, Foothill family, I know there's uh, Jan Graves, which I'm not sure. Is Jan still here? Jan? Okay. Jan will say hello. And she is, I've known Jan for most of my time in, in Bakersfield. And she says Foothill family. And that's, I think you described fond memories. And uh, after the dance or after the football game, we'd get together as a faculty. And that was very nice. But during the day, we would do things. I remember um, it was just always fun because one day the air conditioning was broken up in, we, had, we were in the, in the F wing. F wing was not built when I was here. It came my second year they had it built. And so I got F11. I'm not sure who's in the F11 now. And, and the air conditioning wasn't working, so a group of us teachers in, the, in that building made a sign as big as this table, held it up, fixed the air conditioning, came down to Don St. Clair, which, and we put it up. And we're walking across campus. The students go, what? Hey, we're going to demonstrate. So the idea that I always felt nobody ever had, felt bad that, that you're going to lose your job is the fact that that's part of your role. You have to teach students about demonstration. Well, how do you do it? You demonstrate. Or you teach students about quality of, of life. So we had a uh, uh, Earth Day started in 1971. And Joe Fontaine, which I think you're going to interview, he started Earth Day here. And uh, he said, and, and a club has started. So I think, I think, I, I look back at Foothill very fond because I wouldn't be a I wouldn't have been as good a teacher, I think, as Centennial if I didn't have the experience. And I, I did, I had student teachers, many of them, while I was teaching, and I told them, it's not the academics, it's watching people with smile on their face like yours. It's at the end of the day, said, I've got the idea. And I said, you don't agree with me, but I understand your point of view, and that was important that we did that at Foothill. And I think, um, I look on the wall, the, the photographs of the different principals, I think I had three of those when I was teaching here. And uh, so it was kind of the idea that I go back and I look back to those principals and some I respect highly, some I do not respect as high. But the one thing they said, I, uh, that you're a teacher and therefore what you do in your class, and you close that door because you, that's your realm. And I think that's important that this school protected that idea as a teacher, you decide what your students will have when they leave your classroom. Uh, I've, I've visited many campuses, and I can't say that for many of them. Obviously, Foothill and Centennial are right up there, but uh, to this day, uh, somebody said, where did you start teaching? And I'll say, Foothill. And look at me, because Foothill's changed. Let me just tell you one thing, if you didn't know this. When I came to Foothill High School in 1967, how many black students do you think there were? One, that was it. And he was selected out because people would say, what is he doing here? And they'd look him on campus. It was hard for him. I didn't have him in class, but they said, you know, that was different because Foothill was, was different. There was, no, there was no Highland High School. He had East High. And I look down racially and I think it's so much better. I look around there, I look at the mixed I see here. And that takes time to it to happen. But I think it's so important for a school to see that transition and make it quick. Don't make it long. Don't make it painful. Make it painless. And all of a sudden you say, so to this day people say, would you teach Foothill? And if they were five years ago, they go, oh. If they were 40 years ago, all right. That's it. And you know that image. I don't like that. But that's happened in this town. And somebody said, where'd you go? Centennial. Somebody said, oh, you went over to the easy, didn't you? You went over to the easy school. Because they said, well, that's why you left. And I said, no, it's not that way. But there's a presumption, and I, I hate to say this, but as you know, Foothill, you, you're going to tell them that they're all wrong in their views because the four of you are proving that today, that Foothill is a fantastic school, was, always has been, and don't let images get in the way of reality. Okay?